Welcome to our gentle yoga practice today. Today we are practicing the chair pose. For this practice, we will need a towel, which we will use later on in the practice, and obviously a chair, and we will get started. So we're sitting back in our chair. We're nice and comfortable. We're closing our eyes, focusing on the breath here, relaxing the body. We always start in stillness and end in stillness so that we can allow the dust to settle from the day we can really allow ourselves to focus on our practice we can allow clarity to come into our minds and our hearts and our bodies as we become still our muscles begin to relax our minds relax our breathing changes you may notice a change in your breath We're inhaling and exhaling through the nose. Holding no tension in the body. Everything is completely relaxed and soft. Good. Now as we inhale, let's bring our arms overhead. And exhale, release the arms down. Good. Let's do this a few more times. Inhale, arms overhead. And exhale, arms down, chin to chest. As we inhale this time, we look up to the ceiling. And as we exhale through the nose, we look down, chin to chest. Good. Let's walk our legs wide. We're going to start to pick some apples. We're gonna pick high up in that apple tree and put the apple down in the basket on the ground on the opposite side of the body. This allows us to get a nice big stretch through the torso. We're starting to open up the hips. We're starting to get the body moving now. We're gonna reach on the opposite side of the tree and reach across to the bucket. Reaching up high and placing that apple down low. Good. Nice big stretch. Loosening up through the torso. Let's go ahead and switch arms. Loosening through the torso, opening up through the hips, getting the lower back to start to move and engage and loosen up, getting those inner thighs to open up, and let's reach to the opposite side of the tree. Beautiful. Good, nice big reach. And then reach all the way down toward the ground. Fantastic. Let's roll those shoulders out a few times. We're going to grab the towel now. This is going to be our little trick we're going to use to make sure that we're squeezing our thighs together. So if we open up the knees, we're going to drop that towel. We have to keep the towel between the knees. We're squeezing the knees together, the thighs together, and the hips together. Continue squeezing. Good, beautiful. This is round one. All we're doing is thinking about squeezing those thighs together. You can begin to see why this is known as a power pose because we're building strength in the thighs. We'll be moving into the ankles. We'll be moving into the core. All of these components we need. <laughs> Go ahead and release and relax. Good, let's try that again. So round two, we're gonna be squeezing the knees together, the inner thighs together, the hips together. Beautiful. Now this time, let's take our feet and we're going to press them down into the ground. And let's bring our hands to our hearts. Good. So all of these components, our thighs, our core, our ankles, other parts of our legs, we need for stability and for balance. These are critical to help us stay stable, help us be balanced, and help us stay safe. This is a fantastic pose to help build muscle and strength in those areas. Good. Let's take a little breather. Shake the legs out. Now round three, we're going to do this again. We're keeping the towel between the knees, squeezing the knees together, thighs together, hips together, pressing the feet down into the ground, hands at the heart. This time we're going to hinge forward from the hips. If you feel any strain on your lower back, go ahead and pull your navel in to soften that lower back. Beautiful. And you should be feeling or might be feeling a little bit more in the core area here as we shift in our upper body a little bit. It requires a little bit more in our core, which again will help us with our balance and our stability. 
Good. Keep breathing. Try to keep the face and the jaw relaxed so we're not holding any extra tension in the upper body. And let's go ahead and come on up. Beautiful. Good. All right. Shake the legs out. Shake everything out. This is a pose that looks like we're not doing much, but it requires a lot. So you're doing fantastic work today. Squeezing the knees together, thighs together, hips together, hands at the heart. Good. Pressing those feet into the ground. We're going to hinge forward. This time we're adding a twist. So drop one elbow down toward the legs and we'll twist in the opposite direction. Good. Keep the breath moving. Keep those legs squeezed together. The feet are pressing into the ground. Hands are actively pressing together. We come back to the center and we twist in the opposite direction. Good. I know this is a not an easy pose. You're doing a fantastic job. Keep it up. Keep those legs strong. Think about the strength and the balance we're building. Good. Come back to center and we will come on up. Good. Take a breath. Shake everything out. Release. Relax. Beautiful. Okay. Here we go again. Squeezing the knees, the thighs, the hips together. Feet are pressed into the ground. Hands come to the heart, actively pressing together, hinging forward. We're twisting again. This time we're, the option is to take the bottom hand, open it toward the ground. Palms are facing out away from the body and the top hand comes up toward the ceiling. And by doing this, we're incorporating a little bit more of the upper body into this twist. Let's come back to center and we'll go to the other side. Drop the elbow to the legs first and then we open up the arms. Good. Looking up toward the ceiling if that's available to you today. Keep the breath moving. Hands at the heart. Come back to center and then come up. Whoo, big exhale here. Good. Nice big inhale and exhale. Shake your legs out again. Rest the body. Roll the neck a little bit. Good. Here we go again. This is chair pose day. We're doing it once again. Knees, thighs, hips together, feet into the ground, hands at the heart. We're hinging forward and now we'll extend the arms overhead. Just like we're holding a beach ball above our head. Our shoulders pull down away from the ears. Elbows are stretched. Fingertips are reaching long toward the ceiling. Good. And keep breathing. It's so easy to hold our breath here. We want to keep that breath moving. We want to keep everything fluid. Resisting the urge to hold tension through the face and the jaw. Beautiful. Go ahead and rest and come out of that. Oh, amazing work. Roll things out. Shake it out. Whatever you need to at this point. Take another breath. Good. And let's rest for just a moment. Let's take our hands to our hearts. Maybe placing one hand on the heart and one hand on the core. Helping us form or foster that mind-body connection. We're resting. This is our seated child's pose, which is a resting pose. Eyes are closed. Inhaling through the nose. And exhaling through the nose. Beautiful. Let's take our legs wide. We're going to turn toward the side, stretching out through the hip and that back leg, dropping that back knee toward the ground. The ball of the back foot is on the ground. Then we're going to take the belly button and we're going to roll it up or point it up toward the ceiling just a bit so we can stretch through the hip flexor of that back leg. And then we'll switch to the other side. Our hip flexors tend to get very tight as we age and just as we go through life, which can pull us out of balance, can pull us forward, and we need to keep those stretched. We need to keep them strong. This is a fantastic stretch for that area of the body. 
If you don't feel anything, again, take your navel, take your belly button, and point it up toward the ceiling, which will help engage that stretch a little bit more deeply. Good. Let's walk the legs together. We're going to bring the arms across the heart, stretching out through the back. So we're pulling the elbows forward and down. Giving yourself a nice big hug. Now we're going to release everything back into the chair. We're taking these last few moments to really enjoy the stillness. Enjoy how our body feels after this short practice. Short but intense practice. We've worked hard. We've built strength. We've stretched. We've practiced self-care. So we'll take these last few moments and then we will close in just a moment. Let's finish with a nice big breath in. Exhale, arms down. Inhale, arms up. And exhale, hands to heart. Thank you so much for joining me today. Blessings to you, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.